Hey everybody, the Bong is back. Welcome to part 48 of Let's Play Dark Cloud, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, I did a fair bit of training off screen, so now it's time for us to do a little bit of upgrading with Xiao's weapon. Took me a long ass time, but I put on some holies because now we can finally go to Super Steve. Goodbye, Steve. Hello, Super Steve. So now we got ourselves Xiao's ultimate, well, one of her ultimate weapons. Now it's just a matter of, like, uh, building her stats up with this weapon. Um, I guess we can just use some Sin Spears. Probably don't need to use that many. I'm only doing this just to give her, like, a little bit of an edge. It has nothing to do with, like, trying to power up even more, because she's already powered up. And let's just give her like that as well. Alright. All things considered, it's time for us to go over to the next area. Well, go back to the Gallery of Time. That thing is the next area. We've got nowhere else to go. That we need to go to. So it's time for us to continue to make some progress. 205 years into the past, we're gonna go. This should be fun. Oh, we get thirsty quicker. In the club. <laughs> Getting thirsty and we're in the club. At least we're powerful enough to destroy enemies in like one hit. We'll go south later. Granted, it's winter. A lot of people are going south now. <laughs> but that's not what I mean. Okay, I don't know how many Atla there are. Or chests. Well, there's our exit, so we might as well just put the clock hands on right now. Save us a little bit of trouble. Now we just have to do a little bit of exploring. The sooner we find a map and a magical crystal, the better. So we'll know what way we need to be heading. At least the enemies are easy as hell. I see a glyph over there. Ah, we got Sophia again. Oh, the weapon HP went down. That sucks. But 95 is still pretty high. So, we'll live with it. Nope, there's our pitch dark key. Guess that should allow us to go over here. Unfortunately, there's no spring here. So, we gotta make sure that we don't take too much damage from this. Oops. Yeah, I think it's time to use some water now. We got lots of chicken because we're able to easily steal them from most of the enemies here. But water is a little bit far in between. And there's our new enemy. It's a lich. It's basically a pallet swap of a ghost. Nothing too special. Because we can still dispatch it pretty quickly. So far, we're doing all right. Like, we're able to find where we need to go. So let me snag this Atla real quick, and that chest. Probably not gonna waste too much time with enemies. The Assassin! <laughs> yeah. Sounds like the gimmick of a wrestler. Ouch! That doesn't help my matters any. So you know what? We are gonna fight these. Whoa! You can attack twice? Not cool at all, Lich. Now you see why I dropped your ass in my Final Fantasy 1 Let's Play all those years. Man, that was, that was like an ancient time. Man, you'd have to really go far back from when I Let's Play Final Fantasy 1 for the Game Boy Advance. I did too as well on that same game. Because it was the compilation, like Donna Souls. Alright, let's go back, because there's one more Atla over there. The sooner I can get out of this floor, the better. Because, man, it really sucks you dry. There's a castle. Okay, it's probably as low as it's going to get. That's better. 
Once we get out of here and have to like restock, we gotta sell some of this excess chicken. You know, make the colonel all mad. And then we gotta take it from there. We'll put in those uh, parts for the memory later on. Okay, let's see what we gotta deal with on this floor. 208 years ago, so we didn't really move that far back. The dark power. Okay, we can finally see this memory now. Light from my hands destroys my enemies. Why is decapitalized? Is this black power? I borrowed the power of devils, but now I can save my comrades. With this force, I will never let them touch you. Oh, a lot of bad things are gonna happen when you play with this kind of stuff. You know that. Short sightedness, I tell ya. Oh, there's another new enemy. It's a blizzard. We took out a Yeti. Huh. It's the Yeti. It's more chicken. God. I'm gonna develop heart disease by the time I'm finished this. Oh, there's another lich. They have a weird way of hitting you. It's almost instantaneous. And even with all this defense, they still hit you pretty hard. Let's go down here first, since that's a dead end. Okay, there's two Atla here. It's like if Gossamer from Looney Tunes was blue, instead of red. Oh, and there's the clock hands, so there was a good reason I went that way. Not to mention the two Atla. Wow, Sophia just shows up all the damn time. Oh, so needy. She just gotta be upfront and personal. Can you just give somebody else some attention, like some wine? How often do we get wine? Alright, let's go up next. So many empty boxes, I almost went towards them and I realized I opened them all. Oh, this damage is stupid good. Wait till we get the Chronicle Sword and we can build it up even more. I'm trying to think, what else do I need to get closer to the Chronicle Sword? I need Thunder and Holy, and more damage into killing sea enemies. So, we're still a good while away before we can get the Chronicle, and man, it's going to be so expensive to build up to it. It's ridiculous. But here we are, it's going to be a worthy investment. Especially if it's going to make the uh, bonus dungeon a little bit better. Or this dungeon if we're forced to use Xiao, since we got Super Steve. Still need to put a little bit more effort in the other characters, though. I try to spread it out. I really do. Between building up our strong weapons and sometimes getting some synth spears from the excess weapons so that we don't really have to sell them. Because they're much better used as synth spears. They don't really give you that much more money compared to selling some excess consumables. That's just my opinion, and I'm sticking to it. Blizzards are basically just like those golems or titans. And then they can drop the, uh, the ice uh, attachment. Hey! You slapped me before your hand actually touched me? Feels weird that it does that. Oh, another ice gem. Well, the offensive ice gem. Anti curse amulet. I practically don't need amulets anymore. Because we can spend pl plenty of money in mighty healings. And we do just fine. They ain't get me this time, Lich. Well, I'll be a son of a Lich. Huh. <laughs> Alright, there's our magical crystal. A little bit too late. Oh, Grand's Feather broke. Ah, we have room for 20 more items. 
And since we have that Martin Guardian, we practically don't need treasure chest keys ever again. We can just sell them. Okay, that's that's basically the setup I want. There's nothing else here, it seems. So let's get ourselves fully healed. That's better. Now, before we move on, let's see if we complete this attachment. There's the wine, there's the moon, and there's good old Sophia dragging her ugly head through again. We need a door and an assassin. So you mean the door isn't the assassin? So I mean, you can bang yourself into a door, you know, catch, catch your neck in the, uh, the doorway and slam it real shut. Doors can kill you, you know. I mean, the door is killed on the top 40 hits, I'm sure. So I think we're, was it 213 years? I did not look at that number. Uh, must be protected. Okay. That's probably like a, an actual memory itself, rather than just an item slot. Because what is a to be protected? How can that be a tangible thing? It's not. Liches do look cool looking though, I, I will admit that. Okay, I felt that this was the best I can do, all things considered. I didn't really have any gems currently that would go towards what Tone would need. So, we're just gonna upgrade with this. Maybe we'll be a little bit closer to the Chronicle. Could be like one last thing we need. Nope, we still need Thunder, we still need Holy, but we don't need any more Sea Killers. So we just need to worry about the Thunder element, which is at 69, that blows my mind. And Holy. So there's only two things we need to worry about. We're good to go. It's gonna take a while for it to get to the next upgrade slot though, unless we're using our power-up powders. We may be forced to need that for on a reliable standpoint. Oh, I'll take that. Huh, he, he just stood there and took it on the chin. Well, technically I got him on the top of the head because he's short as hell. No wonder he's so angry, I mean, if I was that short, I'd be angry too. But at least I can float, so he got that going for him. So maybe he doesn't have a lot to be angry about at all. Even though he only floats like straight up and then goes back straight down. So he probably can't go that far. Well, there's our door. Now we just need the actual assassin. So we can complete that memory. Nope, there it is. Probably our exit. We're not going to deal with that yet. Probably need to repair our weapon shortly because, well, those living armors can cut through it real quick. Man, I'd be so salty if this weapon broke. I'd probably take a long hiatus from this project for like three years. No joke, either. <laughs> I would literally be that upset. Because that's a lot of work. Down the shitter, because, say, the living armor blocked, and that's like double digits off your weapon HP right there. I know the Arthur can do that. Like, if it blocks, that's, like, over... Probably over 10 weapon HP that's going to be gone in an instant. If you hit it while it's blocking. But it is what it is, so that's why you gotta be extra cautious when you're battling these scum. Ooh, what's this gonna be? Oh, there's no trap. Ooh, a blessing gun! Okay, we finally got ourselves a weapon and a chest for Osmond. Is it better than the snail? I don't know. We'll think about that later on. If that's the path we want to go. If not, then, hey, it's Sin Spear material. See if the Blessing Gun gets us a little bit closer to one of Osman's ultimate weapons. We'll see. But for now, I think it's time for us to leave this floor. 
I like that you don't have to leave the dungeon just to put some Giorama parts down. It makes you go a little bit faster. There's the doorway, and there's the assassin. Drunk with victory, I return to the castle. We will meet again. You come sooner than expected. Huh. Wonder how many dates he had in it like that. Simply seeing you revives my spirit. How could I realize? You, the imposter. The one who would take my life. But who was the imposter? I wonder. Or was that Sophia talking? Was somebody pretending to be Seda? I guess more will be clear in time. I say as I'm in the gallery of time, get it? <laughs> well, let's keep going. 225 years into the past. Okay, we got Alexander to fight. Okay, definitely hitting his shield will cost you like 10 weapon HP. So what I'm gonna do, let him swing his sword, then I go for the kill. It's simply what you would do against Arthur. You would just like strafe around after its attack. Not because you want to avoid getting hit, but because this guy likes to block a bit more. That's probably our exit right there, alright. Ugh, there's lots of Alexanders. Why don't I switch characters? Let me go after the Lich first. Oh, the teleports! Okay, this guy's a pain in the ass to even hit! Even with ranged weapons. Maybe Ozma is just a little inaccurate sometimes. Whoa! Okay! I see a new enemy! That's a black dragon! Also, I hate that when you get a little far away, you lose your target. Okay, this weapon is not doing too strong. So let me switch back to my main character. Whoa! I got frozen! And I'm almost dead! Huh, good thing I have all these mighty healings. You know what, I don't see myself getting poisoned as much. Freezing could be the main issue, but I don't have an anti-freeze amulet, so let's just keep it as is. Okay, so let, we gotta focus on that dragon instead. Oh, this is scary as hell. We're dealing with the real nitty gritty of enemies. Gotta be real tough. So the sooner we get that chronicle, the better. I thought we'd be overpowered, but definitely doesn't look like it now. Alright, let's switch you over to fire. Also, I'm trying to get more synth spears. Oh, you're already on fire with the goddess ring. Alright. Let's try using you instead. I'd rather target the other enemies instead. Liches are a pain in the ass, because it looks like every time they get hit with range attacks, they just like to teleport away. So they can be a little problematic. Oh, I think I killed two enemies at once. Not bad at all. Nope, never mind, I didn't kill the Lich. That was close, though. I think I just stole a web I stole an item from it. Eh, I'm content. Bloody dress. Ugh. 
Maybe she shouldn't wear that on her period. There's a knife. Huh? I guess that explains what made the dress bloody. Maybe she stopped cutting herself while you wear it, and then it wouldn't be so bloody. Some people just never learn. Blood is hard to clean off. Alexander is just basically a helmet. I wonder if it's just a play on Alexander the Great, because it kind of looks like a Greek helmet. Here, I'll let you use your magic attack. And you, you just punch me right in the throat as you go down. Great. I'm on to you. Yeah, I'd like to say use a shield, just like Alexander the Great's soldiers did. Like bronze shields? Interesting. Like in the Moon Sea, we ran to Arthur, which is like an English or Britannian knight. And then had a lance. And I'm almost dead. <laughs> but I'm not worried because I got the revival powder still active. So that'll get me out of a tough bind. You ain't getting me this time, Lich. Okay, looks like there's one enemy left. Actually, there could be two enemies left if that's a uh, King Mimic. Which it is. That was a black dragon, wasn't it? I thought so. Man, they look so menacing, too. Oh, we can upgrade it now. Question is, do I have, have what I need? Uh, I need Thunder and Holy, so... Maybe I'll get it out of the Synth Spear? No, I won't. In fact, I don't have Thunder or Holy at all. So, I'm actually not gonna upgrade my weapon yet. It seemed like a waste if I did. Huh, Sophia again. Well, I guess that answered who wore the bloody dress. In case there was any doubt. Now, we're on the 16th floor already, and I feel like we still got a long way to go. This is probably going to be one big-ass dungeon. It would have to be if it's the final main story dungeon. Alright, let's put the clock hands on. See if we can complete a memory yet. go. Must be protected. Okay, looks like there's three more blank memories left. Disbelief cuts through the shock and the dress, too. It should have been me. The knife was meant for me. Why do you smile? Because you saved the one you loved. What about me? Who should I protect from now on? Oh, whoever you want, I guess. It's a free country. I think it's time for us to get out of here. We did our job. We should probably sell some of this excess chicken, which right now we probably don't want to sell as much. Given we ran into some tough troubles. And we'll definitely want to buy some gems that will power up Thunder and Holy. Get us a little closer to that Chronicle Sword. Anything can happen. So I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we're going to go back to the Gallery of Time with uh, updated inventory. See you, everyone.